Hi guys, so today for math, we're gonna be doing our geometry review to get ready for our geometry two-dimensional shapes final. And uh, today and tomorrow, you'll be just working on this project. Um, and I'm gonna take you through the slides and explain exactly how to do the project. The first thing that we want to look at is our, our, our learning targets for this project. We want to know at the end, I know an angle is formed by two rays that share one endpoint or an endpoint. I can measure an angle. I know that angles put together form a circle which added together is, is equal to 360 degrees. I can identify two dimensional shapes and list their attributes. This is a big one because this is actually our standard that we're gonna be grading. And I can draw and understand a line of symmetry. Okay, so look at this um, line and tell me, is this a ray? Is this a line? Is this a line segment? Okay, what, what's shown on this slide? What is shown on this slide? Okay, these two lines cross. Um, what do we call these two lines? So these two lines cross, but they um, create four right angles. So what would we call this um, figure? These two lines are exactly the same distance apart and they keep go going on into infinity. So how would we label this? Okay, now we're gonna be classifying triangles by their size. Remember we classify triangles in all two dimensional shapes by their sides and by their angles. Okay, this triangle has three sides that are not equal. How would we label this triangle? This triangle has two sides that are congruent or equal. So how would we uh, label this triangle? Okay, this triangle has sides that are all three equal or congruent. How would we label this triangle? Okay, now we're gonna classify some triangles by their angles. How would we classify this triangle with three angles that are not equivalent or congruent? How would we classify this triangle that has three equal angles? How would we classify this triangle that has two equal angles? How would we classify this triangle that has one angle that measures 90 degrees? Okay, let's review quadrilaterals. That's what you had for homework, uh, for work online yesterday. The answer is a quadrilateral is a figure with four sides and four angles. Remember, we're still talking about two dimensional shapes. Here we're gonna be discussing the different kinds or types of quadrilaterals. First, we have a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel lines. This two-dimensional shape has two sets of parallel lines, so we would call this quadrilateral a parallelogram. Okay, here are the attributes of a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel lines and four right angles. Opposite angles are congruent. This is an example of a rectangle. Here are the attributes of a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral where the base and the top are parallel. The angles on either side of the base are congruent. Congruent just means equivalent or equal. So here is, a, here is an example of a trapezoid. Here we're gonna talk about a square. A square is a, a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel lines and four right angles, and all four sides are congruent. So here is an example of, of a quadrilateral that is a square. Okay, next we're gonna be talking about a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel lines where opposite angles are congruent or equal, and all four sides are equal or congruent. So here is an example of a rhombus. Okay, our geometry final project. 
after you review these slides a few times, you're going to create a learning poster. You can choose whether you want to create the poster digitally or on paper. If you do it on paper, please email me a picture of your complete poster. In the next slide, you will see 10 bullet points. All of these need to be on your poster, labeled and described. The attributes need to be described. You can use these review slides to check your poster. I have linked a video of an example of a Google Classroom uh, in Google Classroom for you to show you how to do a digital um, poster. And these are the things that you need on your poster.